Hello there and welcome to Energy Connects Discussions. We're here in Houston at OTC and more importantly, we're on the SLB stand. And joining me now is BJ Gamas. He is the product champion for environmental solutions. I'm absolutely delighted to have you here. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, talk to me about, I suppose, the bigger picture when it comes to oil and gas production and I suppose the importance of well construction. How important is it that we get that right? Oh, it's extremely important. If you don't get that right, you get nothing right, right? And so more to the point, from my perspective, it's the shakers, shaker screens, which is one of the most important things because it is a first line defense and separation between the fluids and solids. Now, I'm, we're all familiar with, you know, your product, the Mongoose Pro, but now right. you put the Mongoose Max in place. Just talk to me about, I suppose, the difference, the value added on these two products, technology. Yeah, no problem. So the big feature on the Mongoose Max over the Pro is that we're able to increase the capacity by 35% over our Mongoose Pro. Um, now, how we're able to do this actually is by widening our feeder box. Uh, the internals of it, we're able to make it to where it produces a more, um, more laminar flow so it evenly dis distributes the fluid. Not only that, the basket was structurally designed to enhance the screen's conductance and our wall, our side walls were made taller to increase volume. So all of this equates to the higher capacity. Well, 35% capacity, I mean, now that's impressive, you know, for anybody and the kind of thing that operators obviously will welcome. But right. operators want to keep those costs down, but at the same time now they really have to make sure that they're keeping any environmental destructive impact down as well. Right. So how do we, uh, how will this product actually help do both? So we'll start from the top, right? So the way it's going to help with, with just cost, right? So 35% capacity means you can use less equipment to do more. Right, so it makes it more efficient. Um, so from there, from the efficiency comes now, you're recovering more fluid, right? Because the Max, what it has is an integrated system called the Screen Pulse Fluid Separator. Now what that does is able to recover 25 barrels of expensive drilling fluids, right? And return that back into the active system. Now, because you're recovering all these fluids, you're in essence, reducing the amount of waste that's produced at the rig site. So because you don't have that waste, you no longer have the trucks needed to go to and from disposal. You don't need to bring off, mix off material, which you have to bring in to mix with the waste to be able to transport it down the road, right? So by reducing these trucking, you are reducing the overall cost of, of, the, of our operators and also because of that, the environmental impact on that, right? The fuel, the fuel that you have to, you consume to have the trucks running is uh, significantly reduced. So we've seen up to 20% a reduction on just your carbon footprint at the rig site. So that's how we were contributing to that. Again, I mean, I think that efficiency, speed, and also the reduction in fuel and truck, bringing those emissions down on all levels is right. just so important. But also, you know, one of the other areas I know is so important in this industry too, is, you know, HSE, health and safety, um, bringing, you know, the environment in as well. Anything new there that can be added with this equipment and technology? Yeah, actually quite a bit. Um, so when we design a product, yes, we want it to be efficient. We want it to be uh, cost effective, but it's oil and gas, so you want to be safe. So that's a, one of our highest priorities. And so the Mongoose Max is kind of just encompasses that whole thing because we, we incorporated a, what's called a bladder system into it. And what that does, it, it uses air to clamp down our shaker screens, right? And that's what you use to separate the fluid and the solids. Um, the reason why this is so significant is because the legacy systems use ratcheting systems. They use uh, wedges where you have to hammer in. So all this can cause any number of injuries in your hands and all that. So we've eliminated that by using a simple air actuated system. So one person can install the screens from the front end, right? And once it's in, you turn on the air and it clamps the screens down. Now on the reverse end, when you want to remove them, you release the air. One person is only, there's only one person needed to be able to remove these because we've incorporated also an interlocking technology. And what that means is once one screen gets going, all the screens start coming in. Um, in the legacy system, you have to climb over the walls, 
and kind of bend over, hit your hands and things like that, right? And we just, we don't want that. We want to reduce that. So that in itself helps out a tremendous amount on just hand injuries. Um, but to add to that, so the control panels to work the shaker in itself have all, we moved it all to the front. So that air system I told you about, that we moved it up to the front. The power system is not on the back, it's in the front now. We also incorporated what's called a single point deck jacking system. And what that does, it's a lever on one side that one person can crank to incline and decline the shaker, depending on what you want for operations. Um, this is significant because on most systems that are out there, you have to ratchet up on one side, then walk around to the other side, ratchet up. And what happens when you're doing that? Trip hazards, there's holes, there's pits. So we don't want that to happen. We want it to be as safe as possible. So by incorporating all of these features, we're able to reduce our HSC impact at the rig site. I mean, and that's just, it's so important for everybody. So not alone is the technology improving all the time, but I think that innovation in terms of health and safety is right. so, so important. So well done to all yeah. of you at SLB for making that happen. But talk to me about how fast you're rolling out this uh, technology. You know, what are the plans for the rest of the year? Yeah, so we actually rolled out about 90, 90 units so far. Um, the plan is to double that here in 2023 um, and just increase the, the overall awareness of the product. Uh, so here at OTC, there's quite a few people, a lot of head traffic that are coming asking me about this product. They've done a great job marketing it here. Um, and so I will be reaching out to every single one of you guys that have come and, and asked about it uh, to get one on your rig soon. Well, it sounds like it's the product that everybody has to have. And really, I think when we see the innovation in that technology, you know, but that's that's what you've always been doing at SLB. That's what we do. So keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for that having was, me. Uh, BJ Gamma's there. Um, and uh, obviously, clearly, lots of uh, a busy year ahead of him. <laughs> and again, we're delighted to be able to bring this to you here at the SLB booth at OTC. This has been Energy Connects Discussions. Keep in touch with us. This is where we'll let you know the latest news and views from the energy uh, environment. Take care.